Hi, I'm Janice. Welcome to the DIY A Go Go YouTube channel. Today I'll show you how to paint a nightstand to look like an ocean. I'm copying an image from a painting that I've had hanging in my bedroom for about 10 years. I'm also going to show you some techniques that I use to capture this image with DIY paint. Oh, you'll see behind me I have this nightstand and a painting. I'm going to take this painting and paint that painting onto this nightstand. So what you would say is that is my inspiration. So stay with me and we'll see how it comes out. When I look at this painting and I'm trying to choose the colors, I see apothecary. I see apothecary a lot in this painting. So I decided to do a base coat, cover the whole nightstand in a base coat of apothecary. So I'm just painting one coat for this base coat. This is because I know I'll be adding multiple layers as I start adding the waves and the rocks. DIY paint has really helped me on my artistic journey and uh, let me tell you why. Um, I am color challenged. So for the beachy sandy portion on the bottom of this painting, I chose of course sandy blonde. It's the perfect color for this. And I highlight it with some cake batter. Whenever I would need to get some paints, every single time I would go to the store to get paint, I would try to have an idea of the color I wanted to get. And I would go to these stores that sold all of this paint, and I would just stand there and stare at nine billion colors. This painting is really just a lot of blending of colors. It's a nice sky, cloud, beach, and then sandy, rocky scene. And if the transition of every one of those scenes is a new blend. So what I'm doing here is blending the boho blue with the apothecary. I want to share with you a mantra that I have to say in my head in order for me to be successful at blending. Um, what I say is this uh, little mantra, bring the dark down into the light and bring the light up into the dark and smooth it over using a very feather light touch. So say it with me. Bring the dark down into the light and the light up into the dark. Smooth it over using a very feather light touch. That helps me with blending and I hope that it can help you too. go to the store, you go to the paint department, and they have like maybe three or four brands of paint. And every brand of paint will have 3,000 colors on these little cards. And it would be blues. And the next blue would be one slightly hue off of the one above it, and so forth and so on. And then the next card would be blue but it would be one hue off of that card and it was just, for me, overwhelming. Now, the way I do the rocks is I have this little spatula. I take the spatula and I have my, my layered chocolate. I dip just the tip, very, very little, very, very little. And I just press it. I want it to go down like this. And I press it down.
the same is almost true, but in the opposite way for the little tubes of paint that you use for your canvas art, in that they only give you a few options. It, they give you the color wheel, I believe, or the primary colors, and they name them things like cadmium yellow and phthalo, is it phthalo blue, phthalo blue? Um, I, I just, I don't know, but I know it's not bohemian blue. <laughs> I add some highlight to the rocks um, by using sandy blonde um, and I also put in a little bit of cake batter. This gives the rocks some more depth and um, some more highlights. So you don't really have a lot of choices of colors because I believe that the idea is that you bring these paints home and then you mix them up um, on your palette and then mix them together and make your own colors of paint. Well, I can't do that. Now what I'm doing is dry brushing some white swan pretty much all over the place um, to give it the look of some waves. Here I'm just doing some rays of the sun in the sky. It's just to give it an overall beachy, windy, vintagey, shabby, chic feel. So it's a heavy burden that I gave this white swan, but um, dry brushing is a really cool technique where you just use a very, very little bit of the paint on your brush. You could also uh, dab the paint off and you just kind of brush a little dab of paint with a dry brush and it gives you this old vintagey vibe. So what I have to say is thank goodness for DIY paint because Debbie has done all the work for us. Debbie has picked the perfect colors for us to choose from. It is not an overwhelming amount of colors. It's not a million. I don't even, I didn't count, but 30 maybe or less colors of paint. Even I can find the perfect color in 30 colors of paint. So I hope you liked today's tutorial on painting a beach scene on furniture. It was just a quick study in some of the techniques that I use in this type of art. I will be painting more beach scenes on furniture and posting those videos to my YouTube channel called Shabalot. I plan on going in depth a lot more on these techniques of blending and painting rocks and dry brushing and so on. So I hope you get a chance to hop on over to my channel and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the DIY A Go Go channel. Hit the like button and add any comments you'd like. Also, the materials I use today can be found on my website at shabalot.com. All of the links will be below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.